had a nice one. It was a it was a different one. So I hope that uh, you made it special in your own way, or or your kids made it special in your own way. Um, we're gonna start today's class with a mantra. So uh, whatever uh, we'd like to uh, place into this time right now. So if that's um, maybe a sense of calm, a, a sense of peace, forgiveness, or um, gratitude, whatever, whatever that mantra is today for us. And um, I'd like for us to just shake off any of those Monday blues, maybe roll the shoulders out a little bit, maybe wiggle out through the arms, soften out through the jaw a little bit, maybe even close the eyes and we'll start wherever we are. So if we're standing, if we're seated, if we're even lying down, just starting our practice today with the, with the mantra. And allowing the jaw to soften, the shoulders to relax, taking in these first few moments in our practice this morning. Noticing what's going on through thought, if we're able to, to push away anything that doesn't serve through our mantra today. Allowing that breath to move through a nice comfortable rhythm through the throat, through the belly, through the chest. And softly exhaling, whether that's out through the nose or through the mouth. And just taking a few more breaths here in through the nose. And just planting the seed of light. Through our practice, we'll continue to move through a few flows of breath, some different than the next. But using this breath to water the seed, to fuel our practice, to fuel this thought. And taking one more great big inhale all the way in through the nose. And a big exhale out through the mouth. All right. We're going to go on and open the eyes if we hadn't already. And we'll start in child pose. Keeping that mantra in mind, that thought in mind. I'm going to bring a pillow with me today. Feel free to, to bring one with you as well. Just to uh, create a bit more comfort through those uh, kneeling positions and, and all that fun stuff. We're gonna bring the pillow, if we have it, right between the, the knees. And go on and reach forward into child's pose. And we'll go on and roll the shoulder blades apart, stretching out through all 10 fingers. Maybe wiggle them out a little bit, playing that imaginary piano. Let's go on and open up through the upper back, maybe hug the pillow or the mat with the torso as we just squeeze those shoulder blades out from one another and allow the body to just relax for these first few moments. Letting go of any clench, any tightness through the muscles of the face, through the jaw, through the low back and hips, maybe even through the ankles or shins. Coming back into that mantra, that thought of ground and peace, and the honoring our practice today through one breath and exhale all the way out. Right, we'll begin to find subtle movement to open through the torso, through the sides of the body, 
allowing our breath to become a bit smoother, a bit easier as we move on to the next breath and the next breath and the breath after that. On that exhale, we'll walk the hands over to the right side of our space. Bring the left hand over the right hand and we'll roll the shoulder blades apart for a moment. So almost now hugging the right knee with the torso. We'll take a nice big breath in through the nose. And exhale all the way out through the mouth. Right, meeting into center. We'll take a great big breath here in. And opposite side, walk into the left, exhale. Right, we'll create some space there through that right side body. Roll the shoulder blades apart, hugging into the left knee into the left quad noticing how the hip flexors may begin to react to this opening or this press back through the hips one more breath and exhale let go all right we'll meet into center take a great big breath here stretching out through all 10 fingers try placing the palms of the hands into the mat and then allowing each fingertip to float far off of that mat. So we get a nice good wrist and hand stretch there. One more breath, maybe reaching out a little further to all 10 directions. And exhale, sliding both hands alongside the temples, crossing into our tabletop position. We can move our pillow if we'd like, we'll bring the knees into about hips width distance, hands about shoulder. We'll drop the belly lift through the chest. We'll go on and pull the shoulder blades back, open the chest forward. And then exhale, pull the navel in, round through the spine, tucking the tailbone under, just opening up through the back. And continuing that nice flow in and that release on the exhale. Mm -hmm. Continuing to find space. Anytime the mind begins to wander, bringing it back into that mantra, back into the flow of breath we're cultivating. And one more nice, great big inhale. Nice, big, big exhale. We'll hold the rounded spine for a moment. Right. We're gonna loosen out through the low back, go on and sway the hips to the right and to the left. Still keeping those hands and arms nice and sturdy at the top of our mat. On that exhale, we're going to go on and push the sit bones back, so almost like a child's pose, and then swing right back up into that rounded cat. We'll switch that direction. We'll sweep past that side we just came from and bring it into center. And continuing that motion, just loosening out, finding a bit more length. And we'll warm up through the body in a nice basic flow. Just loosen it out through the hips and shoulders next. One more round to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right. All right. Meeting into our tabletop. All right, we're going to go on and curl the toes under, All right? Lift the knees off the mat and drive the tailbone towards the back of our space. We have our bent knee down dog. So grounding through the hands, making sure that we can press all 10 fingerprints into the mat. One more big breath in through the nose, maybe lift the tailbone up a little higher. And out through the mouth, big exhale release. All right, we'll bring the eyes up to the top of our mat, still keeping our knees bent. 
we can step, we can hop, we can jump to the top of our mat, pick and choose, and I'll meet you there up at the top. We'll bring the hands to the shins, lift through the chest, and on our exhale, forward fold. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Let's go on and roll the shoulders back and the exhale. All right. We'll go on and lift both arms up into the air, reach through the fingertips. On our exhale, hands come into heart center. We'll lace the fingers together and press the palms up into the air. On our exhale, elbows into the ribs, open through the chest. Take a big, big breath. All right, we're gonna bring both arms up into the air, finding a forward fold as we place both hands onto the calves, maybe even bend into the knees. We're pulling out of the low back again. Inhale, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Exhale, rolling the shoulders back. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, reach through the fingertips, finding some space, pull out of the hips, hands into heart. Place the fingers together, press the palms up. Elbows into the ribs, open through the chest. Lifting through the fingertips, reach through the arms. Exhale, hands to the calves, forward fold. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Breaking apart any of those tight spaces. Reach, lift, find room. Elbows into the ribs, open, exhale, lifting through the fingertips, and exhale, forward fold. All right, we'll go on and lift through the chest, halfway lift, holding here for a moment, pull the navel in. Notice how the shoulders may want to hug in towards the mat. Now try to roll the shoulders back and lift through the chest, bringing the spine parallel to the mat right beneath the feet. Taking one more big breath in through the nose. Forward fold, exhale. All right, first flow. Halfway lift, inhale. On our exhale, right foot to the back. Dropping our knee into the ground, lifting both arms up into the air. And bring both hands to the hip bones. We could bring the the peace fingers right onto the hips and then exhale, drive both hips forward, making sure that the right doesn't reach further than the left. Soften out through that lunge and exhale, press. Got two more of those, inhale. Exhale. And one more breath. And exhale. We'll lift both arms up into the air, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, hands into heart center. Lace the fingers together, press both palms directly forward. And we're just gonna bring those shoulders up into the ears a few times, roll them back. We got three, open two, and one. Rolling them forward. Three, two, and one, we'll go ahead and lift both arms up into the air one last time. Exhale, hands into the mat. Go on and lift through that right knee. Drop our right heel, open warrior two. So we're gonna still keep that knee open. That inner arch doesn't wanna lift too much. We wanna place it firmly into that mat, sink a little deeper into that lunge, just surfing our mat this morning. Take a big breath, reach both arms up into the air, back arm to the back leg, reverse our triangle. We'll bring both arms back up into the air. Keep that front leg nice and straight, reach that left arm forward and then in towards the ground. Maybe we come down through the shin and reach that right arm to the sky. Holding here, finding some balance here on that left side. Take one more breath. Exhale. All right, we could keep the torso in this sort of reach over that top mat, or we could just bend into that front knee and bring the forearm into that quad, right? Maybe we bring it down here. Maybe we find warrior two, and then we find it here. 
Take it one more big breath all the way in. Maybe sink a little deeper, open to the inner thigh. And reversing our warrior, back arm to the back leg. Maybe we find a forearm bind. Lift up a little higher, big inhale. Now exhale. All right, go ahead and cartwheel over, finding our runner's lunge to our crescent pose. So the right is on the right still, the left is there on the left. We'll bring both arms up into the air. All right, holding here, beginning to create some heat through the low spine or through the, through the lower body, lifting from the low spine. We'll bend a little deeper into that front knee if that feels okay. One more big breath all the way in. Exhale, sink a little deeper. We'll place both hands into heart center, finding Samasiti at the top of our mat, stepping both feet into that same line. Right, coming back into that mantra, into that space of ground, big breath in. And exhale out. All right, bringing both arms up into the air, reaching through the fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, long spine. Left foot to the back of our space. We'll move through that same thing. Drop the left knee into the ground. Press the hips forward. Bring both arms up into the air, reaching through the fingertips. And then exhale, hands, keep that length. Bring the hands to the hip bones and press both hips forward, exhale. We're letting go of a lot of tension through the hips. When we press forward, inhale, keep that length through the spine. And exhale. And big breath, inhale. Exhale. Noticing many, any of those areas we may be gripping that we're able to let go of to intensify the stretch. And just listening to the body. We'll bring both arms up into the air, reaching through the fingertips. And exhale, hands into heart center. This time we're going to find um, some Big circles through the arms, lace the fingers together, press the palms up. Three circles to the back, open, three. Open, two, can we still keep that balance strong? One, reversing that rotation. Three. Two, go on and find that runner's lunge. We'll lift the left knee off the mat for a moment, dropping our left heel into the ground. We'll create that line again from that front heel into the back arch and open into warrior two. Relaxing through the shoulders, keeping the shoulders and hips into that same line. Reach both arms up into the air. And reversing our triangle, left arm down that left leg, reaching the right arm into the sky. And pulling the left shoulder down and away from the fingertips. Reaching a little higher out of the hips. Take one more breath in. Exhaling out through the mouth. All right, we'll move into Trikasana, into triangle pose. Bump that left hip out, bringing the right arm onto the shin or the hand onto the shin and reach the left arm up into the air. Doing our best to stack the shoulders into that same line, reaching out just a little further through that left side body now. And exhale. If we'd like, we can keep the torso here, bending into that knee to get that extended side angle. Or maybe move into warrior two and then find that extended side angle. Bending into that front knee, taking a nice big breath in. Maybe sinking a little deeper, exhale. And reversing our warrior, back arm to the back leg, maybe forearm over the low spine, who knows. And treating each side as needed. A lot of times we'll, we'll try to find that same position we found on the other side or that same variation we had on the other side on this one. But sometimes, 
We just need to find the body right where it is. On that exhale, cartwheel over, find our runner's lunge. And crescent pose, finding a little balance here in, in our lunge. Sink a little deeper into that front knee if it's all right. Maybe challenge that balance of as we've become a bit more familiar, eyes into the ceiling. One more breath. Hands into heart center. Reground, big breath, stepping to the top on our exhale. All right, coming back into that mantra, big breath in. Our exhale, let it go. Place the fingers together, press the palms up into the ears. Exhale, forward fold. So we're gonna turn that three, uh, that combination of three flows into one flow each. And we'll just move with the breath. Halfway lift, inhale. On that exhale, plant the palms into the mat. Step back into our plank position. We'll shift our weight forward, pull the elbows into the ribs. Drop the tops of the feet and lifting the heart open, drawing the shoulder blades back. And on that exhale, we'll find our full downward facing dog. And we'll go on and paddle it out a little bit. Take a nice big inhale in through the nose and hinging through the hips, loosening out through the calves. One more breath. And then exhale. All right, so with our leg lift here, we're gonna find some flexibility. Grounding through that left foot, let's kick our right leg up into the air. With that exhale, sweep our foot to the top of our mat, letting all that breath out. Dropping our left knee into the mat, we'll bring both arms up into the air. Then the exhale, hands to the hips, press a bit further. One more time, softening out through that lunge and exhale, press both hips forward. We'll bring both arms up into the air, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, place both hands into the mat, stepping back into our plank position. Shift our weight forward, chaturanga. Lift the heart up, open, and curl the toes under, down dog. All right, left leg kicks up into the air. Grounding with that right and sweep our foot to the top, exhale. Dropping our right knee into the mat, we'll bring both arms up into the air, reaching through the fingertips. Pressing both hips forward, maybe we bring both hands onto the hips. One more time, soften through the hips. Exhale, press. And we'll bring both arms back up into the air, reach through the fingertips and both hands into the mat plank position right so this will be the these will be the bones for the next two flows elbows in drop the tops of the feet lift the heart up and curl the toes under down dog all right again right leg kicks up into the air let's sweep our foot to the top of our mat this time open into warrior two inhale reaching both arms up into the air, stretching out through that front leg, back arm to the back leg, exhale. Holding here, inhale, bump the left hip out, exhale. Right hand into the shin, left arm into the sky, take a big breath here. Exhale. We'll go on and open into extended side angle, take that inhale. Sinking a little deeper, exhale. Reversing our warrior back arm to the back leg, keeping our front knee bent. And cartwheel into that runner's lunge. Plank position. Shifting our weight forward, chaturanga. Lift the heart up. And toes curl. Down dog. Left leg kicks up into the air sweeping our foot to the top of our mat. Warrior two. Both arms reach into the sky. Back arm to the back leg, reversing our triangle. 
lifting out of that left side body. Exhale, sink into triangle pose. Big open chest. Sink a little deeper into that front knee. Extended side angle. Try pressing the outer edge of that left knee to the space behind us, reversing our warrior. Nice little tick tock through the spine. Cartwheel over, find our runner's lunge. Plank position, chaturanga. All right, we got one more of those. Right leg kicks up into the air. And foot sweeps to the top. Crescent pose, inhale. And exhale, plant the palms into the mat, plank. This is a quick one, chaturanga. And left leg reaches into the sky. Foot to the top. Crescent pose. Palms plant into the mat. Chaturanga. All right. We'll sit back into child's pose. I'm coming back into that space we initially found when we rolled out our mat, noticing any differences through mind, through body. And clearing any thought. And allowing our focus to move into that seed we planted, noticing any stems or any blossom from there. One more big breath all the way in through the nose. And exhale. All right. We're going to go on and find a few standing twists. Place both hands alongside the knees. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog. All right. So we've loosened through all the joints of the body. We're going to do that little last fun part and rinse out through the entire spine. So we're gonna, as we've let go of all these tiny little areas, spine is last, we'll, uh, we'll get some fun. Uh, we'll bring some fun into, into these twists. We're gonna bend into our right knee and lift our right heel off the mat. As we do so, we're gonna notice that we could press a little out through that left hip. So maybe a little sassy hip over to that left side press and out, opening up through the glute, through the hamstring, bringing a bit more groundedness into that left foot. We'll take a nice big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, exhale, let every ounce of breath release from the diaphragm. We'll bring the right hand onto the left ankle. So we're gonna just hook that hand onto that left ankle, here we could use the tricep or the elbow to press into the inner space of the right knee so the knee doesn't fall in towards the left side of our mat. We wanna still keep it open. Think of that, that uh, warrior two that we had. We kept the knee away from the center line. And we'll bring the left arm up into the air and try to open straight across the chest. Maybe if it's okay on the neck, Eyes come into that thumb. We'll take a nice big breath here. Option to create a bind. Bring the forearm over the low spine and bring in the fingertips into the hip crease. So where the torso and the leg meet together. We'll take one more big breath in through the nose here. And exhale, release, forward fold. All right, both hands come into the mat for support if we need. Go on and pedal out through the legs for a moment, noticing any differences between those sides. We wanna get the body as even as possible, right? We'll go on and lift through the left heel and we'll press through the right hip bone, through the right hip, through the right sit bone. We'll go on and let the head relax for a moment or two, just allowing the body to find that stretch to Find that space today. 
And creating one more big breath in. And exhale. All right, we'll bring the left hand onto the right ankle. And we can maybe press that elbow or that tricep into the knee. And we'll reach the right arm up into the air, finding our twist here. If it's okay, eyes into that femme. Still keeping some balance on that left side as well. One more breath in. And exhale, forward fold, let it out. All right, we'll go on and pedal out. Hopefully we feel a bit more even there through the back body. We'll go on and bend into those knees, all right? We're gonna keep the hands where they are, right? And go on and lift through the heels, sitting the sit bones in towards the heels and go on and open up through the back. So a lot of times we might be here, try to open up as much as we can through the chest, all right? We're gonna keep the hands right where they are, just stabilizing the position. Exhale, stretch out through the legs, forward fold. And just a few more of those. Taking an inhale as we sit back and exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Maybe closing the eyes, exhale. Big breath in. And exhale. If we'd like, we can move through that one or a few more times we'll meet in plank position. All right, take a big breath in through the nose. On that exhale, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Tailbone reaches up into the air. So we're gonna find some standing balancing positions. All right, then we'll uh, find a little bit of core. We'll do it all over again. And we'll begin to wind down. We'll kick the right leg up into the air. On our exhale, sweep our foot to the top of our mat. Crest and pose, lift both arms up into the air. All right, we're gonna go on and relax through the shoulders a little bit. So we've been here before, we've been in this lunge before. We're gonna bring the arms out to the right and to the left, and we're gonna do something a little different with the, with the arms, with the shoulders. So we're gonna bring the right arm across the chest for a moment. So the fingertips are floating in front of the heart. Then the left arm is gonna cross over. So we have this sort of X shape we're, create, we're creating, all right? With that right elbow, I want you to bend with that left elbow, go on and bend. So now the elbows are pressing forward. We can hook onto the wrist or maybe grab onto a thumb. If we have that flexibility this morning, maybe even lacing the hands together, we'll bring the elbows up just a little higher, pulling out of the shoulders. Take a nice big breath in through the nose. On that exhale, hinge forward, bring the elbows through the inner space of that right knee. So right in between the, the right side and that left side. Inhale, bring the elbows up. Exhale again. Two. Noticing where that foot wants to go, if we can place the toes in softly, the heel in softly. Last one. All right, bring the elbows high, take a big breath in through the nose. And we're gonna kick our left foot off of our back mat for a moment. All right, here we could start with the heel just floating off that mat. And I'm gonna actually come here so you can see me. So we're gonna cross the leg, the left leg over the right leg. And just as we had in our lunge, go on and sit the sit bones back. Bringing the elbows high, they might wanna come down here, but then we're just pulling the shoulders away from the ears, which is nice. But I want you to press the shoulder blades out of the mid spine and in towards the sky. Breathing through the, those back muscles, nice and smooth. Take a big breath in. If we can sit a little lower, great. This is Eagle Pose. One more breath all the way in. Sinking a little deeper, exhale. A little balance this morning. We'll take a big breath, stretch out through those arms, stretch out through those legs, and bring both hands 
right alongside the body. All right, we'll go on and shake any tension out through the wrists, through the shoulders, through the neck, through the head. We'll find a nice big breath in through the nose, reach both arms up and forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the palms into the mat, plank position. Shift our weight forward, chaturanga. Lift the heart up, up dog. Downward facing dog here. Left leg is gonna go on and kick into the sky. We'll move through that same thing. Exhale, foot to the top. Bring both arms up into the air. And hold it here. Right. So now we'll find that same challenge on this side. We'll bring the left arm over, right? And we'll bring the right arm over, right? Or, or if it was under, <laughs> and we'll bend into the arms and find that nice lift through the elbows. So pulling the shoulders down, scooping the shoulder blades out of any tight space and lifting high. Sink a little deeper into that front knee. We'll take a big breath in. And on that exhale, reach the elbows to the top center of our mat. Inhale, bring the elbows up. Exhale, hinging from the hips, pulling out of the low back. Inhale, strengthening out through the core. Last one. Exhale, challenging that balance a little bit more. And remember, if we need to take a break, if we need to bring the foot down for a moment, go on and take those moments. We'll kick the right foot off of our back mat. All right, we can float that right foot over that right side of our mat and go ahead and cross that leg over. So we're bringing the hamstring right onto the quad and sitting the hips back. Bringing the elbows up just a little higher. Maybe bring in the eyes through that sliver of space through the wrists. Pulling the shoulders back a little bit more. Try to even out the right, even out the left. One more breath in. Maybe sinking a little deeper. Exhale. All right, we'll bring both arms up into the air. Open and exhale, hands alongside the body. We'll go ahead and shake out through the arms. We've got a little core. Then uh, we begin to wind down. We'll bring both arms up into the air. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. We'll plant the palms into the mat, plank position. Shift our weight forward, chaturanga. Lift up, up dog, sitting back into our child's pose or tabletop. I'll run through this little uh, core flow. We'll bring the right leg up into the air. We're gonna tap the right elbow. We'll kick the leg up. We'll twist to the left. We'll kick the leg up and we'll bring the knee into center. Holding here, we bring the knee down, up three times, all right? And after that third, we hold, foot to the top. All right, we bring both arms up into the air. And we'll bring both hands back into the mat. We can find our plank position in chaturanga or plank in down dog. All up to you. We'll do this one two times. So one, one, two, two. All right. When you're ready, right leg kicks up into the air. On our exhale, let's go ahead and tap our right elbow, shift our weight forward. We got that straight there through the arms. Keep pushing, twist to the left. All right, this is the fun one. We bring it into center. And then slide the shin towards the mat and squeeze back in. Three. Squeeze. Two. And one. Hold it here, inhale. And foot to the top, exhale. All right, bring both arms up into the air. Hopefully we've noticed a bit more of that space we've been able to create, plank, plant both hands, plank. Take or skip your float, down or dog. Left leg goes on and kicks up into the air, tapping the left 
elbow. Reach the leg up. Exhale, twist to the right. Kick the leg up, pull the knee into the nose. Hold it here, shin towards the mat. Pull it in, twice more. One more. All right, hold it for a second. Foot to the top, cross and pose. And plant both palms into the mat, plank position or chaturanga to down duck. Big breath, eyes to the top. Step, walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Hands to elbows, maybe hands to the back of the head. Maybe even hands wrap behind the legs, bending into the knees to pull out of the low back and shoulders. We'll find that breath, taking a great big inhale in. And exhale out. Last one. And we'll do that one more time. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Finding some height again. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Big both, big breath. Both arms reach up into the air. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Planting the palms into the mat, plank position. Take or skip your float, down dog. All right, right leg kicks up high. Tap the right elbow. Reach. Exhale, twist to the left. Reach. Knee to the nose. Bring it down into the mat. We got three, squeeze down two and one hold it here inhale foot to the top you got it crescent pose plant both palms into the mat plank position and chaturanga lift the heart up and downward dog one more of those we got it, left leg kicks up into the air, tap the left, keep that breath going, twist to the right, kick the leg up, knee to the nose, shin towards the mat, three times, two, and one, foot to the top, cross and pose, we'll open into star pose. All right, bring both feet in just a little closer. We'll pull the heels in, the toes out, and then we'll slide both hands right alongside the hip. All right, bending into the knees, finding a little sort of house uh, shape from the pelvis down through the heels, and then we'll slide the hands right onto the knees. Right, relaxing through the shoulders. Another form of a, a twist here, right shoulder is gonna to reach towards the left thumb. As we reach the right shoulder towards the left thumb, I want you to try to press that right knee away from you. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, maybe press a bit further. And bring it into center. And exhale, opposite side. Take a nice big breath in and press a little further. We'll move with the breath. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, shoulder to knee. Inhale, shoulder to knee. And one more time, inhale. So keeping those feet balanced into the mat. Bring it in and exhale. All right, take a nice big breath, reach both arms up into the air, stretching out through those legs, finding our runner's lunge to the front of our space. Step back, plank, last plank, last flow. Heart open, exhale, child's pose. All right, checking back in 
noticing what's going on. And allowing our breath to lengthen, to move through a nice comfortable space. And one more nice big breath here for self, honoring our strength. And exhale. All right, we'll roll up one vertebrae at a time. Swing the legs ahead. We'll go on and shake those legs out a little bit. We'll take a nice big inhale. Bring the right knee into the chest. All right. We're going to lace the hands together onto the ball mount of that right foot. So we're going to lift the heel off the mat. The spine might round a little bit, but we're going to go on and lengthen this roundedness here to reach uh, high. So we're going to lace the hands together right under that ball mount. We'll reach the chest high, pull the shoulders back. We're going to press the heel forward. Holding here, continuing to press that heel forward. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Go on and release that into the ground. We'll go on and switch it out, pull the left leg in, extend the right leg up, reach the heart open. And we'll lace the hands together right under the ball mound of the foot. We'll lift the heart high and press the heel maybe even higher. Shoulders come down, shoulder blades pull apart. Notice if that left leg wants to come over to the right side, keep it there on the left. One more breath. And exhale. We're going to go ahead and reach the legs forward, shake them out. And I want you to find that same lift we had a few seconds ago in this forward fold. So we're going to reach both arms up into the air. I like to start most times, especially in the morning, with the knees bent and then just gradually move into those straight legs when we find that hold. So we'll bring both arms high, hinging forward, let the belly press into the quads. We could place both hands onto the ball mounds of the foot, or maybe onto the toes, and then just let the head fall in towards the knees. The arms to fall out through the right and the left sides of all the legs. Opening through the back, we'll take an inhale, lift through the chest a bit, and press those heels maybe a little further forward. Good. Take one more breath all the way in, reach the heart a little higher, and fall a little further. Exhale. Go ahead and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Two, exhale, bring each vertebrae into the mat, one vertebrae at a time. Let the feet come out to the right and out to the left. Finding a nice big breath in through the nose. And exhale. Right here, we could add a series of things. Maybe bringing the knees into the chest, massaging out through the low back. Maybe we find a spinal twist to one side, spinal twist to the other side. Like to find a back bend to open a bit more through the chest, finding bridge pose. We'd like a, an inversion, maybe even sweeping the legs overhead for the plow pose. Finding what's most comfortable to you today. In your time. Finding nice grounded space, feet out a comfortable distance, arms out a comfortable distance, allowing that breath to flow through. We found our twists, our crunches, our small back bends. 
balance, all shifting the breath through different channels of the body, and creating a sense of presence, of strength, of groundedness. As we rest here for the next few moments, giving yourself this time to allow that seed we planted to blossom, noticing any branches that may have stemmed through our practice, through this one thought. Throughout our week, keeping this thought in mind, moving through the day with this mantra growing stronger, whether that's the work we put in to continue growth through this thought. Maybe that's just the thought itself, the presence and the reminder it brings into mind and to body. the spine resets, taking three more inhales in through the nose. And exhaling out through the nose or mouth. to wiggle through the fingers and toes, swing the head over to the right and to the left. Finding a few moments to reach the arms overhead, stretching out through the fingers and toes. We'll bend into the knees, massaging out through the spine. Cross one ankle over the other. We'll pull the chin in towards the sternum, lifting the head off the mat, and just rocking up and down the spine. And on that exhale, we'll come into a comfortable seat, finding that nice long spine. We'll bring the shoulders up into the ears. And exhale, roll the shoulders back. Lifting both arms up into the air, reaching through the fingertips and placing both hands onto the shoulders as the elbows comes up, come out to the right and to the left. Just creating a few circles here, still lifting out of the low back. Reversing those circles. Just keeping the spine long, reaching through the arms, lift through those fingertips, placing both hands into heart, bowing into the inner divine to the willingness into that space that pushed us further, whether that was mentally, physically, spiritually. One breath in. And exhale all the way up. I thank you for sharing your practice with me today, for letting me acknowledge and cares for the light that shines bright for each of you. Namaste. Good morning. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your uh, Monday. And